Namah Shivaya! Welcome again! Wow! The question for you today is How was your orgasm? I admit, I want to provoke you a little bit with this question and uh, to make you realize that we carry lots of shame and guilt around sexual topics. How was your orgasm? When was the highest peak orgasmic experience for you over the last couple of weeks or month or year? I want to know, it's important. If I'm having a conversation with you and I have no idea what's going on on your sexual energy or sexual life, um, I'm missing a whole range, a whole part of your beings, like half of your, uh, you know, functioning, energetic abilities, how you function, how you relate is, is taken away from me. And I cannot really connect. I want to know. It's important. And so you might go like, oh, this is a dirty topic. You know, you can get banned out of places and, and social networks for exposing naked bodies and talking about this stuff. It's like, you realize how incredibly yeah, corrupted this is. It doesn't make sense. You and I, we were born, we were conceived in an orgasmic experience moment. Here we go. This is probably the most secret point in your life. The moment of conception, the moment of the original moment of you coming together as a human being, the soul arriving and, you know, all this convergence of energy and saying, this is the moment where you were born. That was an orgasmic experience. <laughs> where did the shame come from? How come we are robbing uh, our sexual energies from all this sacredness and labeling it as some shadow, murky stuff that it doesn't make sense? What I invite you into is Sexual liberation is just like free that. Imagine all this energy being locked and trapped, and it's a source of bliss, joy, pleasure. Why do you think people are so depressed in society? Why do you think this is going on? Why do you think there is all this zombie like life going on? Because there is no access to this wild, liberated energy that is trying to, to stream in our beings, in our bodies. And so my invitation to you, it's a simple thing. It's like, first, realize the extent of sexual conditioning we are trapped into. It's incredible. How is your orgasm? Why would that create shame, discomfort, guilt, or words like, it's dirty to talk about this? It doesn't make sense. It's useless. So my invitation to you is, Start having sexual conversations with your friends. Start opening up. Start owning your pleasure. Start owning your orgasmic bliss and fire and power. Start owning your sensuality. Be happy to, to touch yourself. Be happy to play with your body. Be happy to engage sensually with people. And that doesn't mean going around and having, you know, wild sex with multiple partners, one night stands and going completely wild on that. That's not what it means. It means liberating the sexual energy inside of you, liberating this flow of life force, removing the guilt, the blocks and becoming super conductive to a source of energy which is powerful, secret and that you deserve to be accessing fully. There is no reason for guilt and shame around these topics anymore. It's time to get rid of it and reactivate this sense of, of liberation that we're all craving for. At least I am. I'm on my way, you know, I'm doing my best. But, you know, if you check my sexual conditioning, I'm still packed with frames. That is the result of 30, 40, 50 years of conditioning. It's like we are being bombarded all the time with messages that don't serve us. And so let's go back to liberation. Let's go back to freedom. Do your part. Everybody's doing their part. Don't blame other people. Don't blame society. Just take responsibility for yourself. How do you feel? Are you liberated? What can you do about it? Start moving energies. It's time. Okay. The code word for that is Kamayama, sexual mastery. If you want to activate that in your system, start using that mantra. Kamayama. Kamaya Majaya. Kamaya Majaya means 
victory to sexual liberation or to sexual mastery. Okay? Have fun! I'll see you soon.